Hi there, my name is Susan Hood. I'm the author of this brand new book, The Last Straw, Kids vs. Plastics, and I wanted to read some of it to you today. Before I do that, I wanted to show you a little video. This is my dog. Um, one of the things I love to do is to take him down to the beach and let him run. The ocean has played a big part in my life. I'm a swimmer and a sailor and a kayaker and I've done scuba diving. So that's one of the reasons I wrote this book because I started getting really upset about the amount of plastic that's piling up in the ocean. And researching this book, I was really surprised to see how much plastic is in the world. Plastic that we don't really notice. P is for peekaboo plastic. Take a peek where plastic can hide. Would you believe there's plastic inside? Athletic apparel, buttons, chewing gum, diapers, eyeglasses, fishing line, glitter, helmets, ice cream cups, juice boxes, and on and on and on. And the problem with that is that it is just piling up in the ocean and killing our sea life. This poem is an elegy to all the whales who are eating too much plastic. A sea change. Listen to the seagulls cry, watching whales who used to thrive in seas of cobalt blue. These mighty mammals ruled the waves, a most majestic crew. Listen to the seagulls cry, watching whales who breach and dive in seas of plastic stew. Whales eat their fill of bags and cups and other human spew. Listen to the seagulls cry, watching whales who can't survive slowly sink out of view. O oh, wisest of the mammals, please, sea change is up to you. So I was getting pretty worried about this whole dire situation until I started finding out about all the kids around the world who are really tackling this problem head on. The second half of the book is devoted to them. For example, this is a little girl in Indiana who collected bottle caps. I think she got 1,600 pounds of them and had them melted down to create buddy benches for her school. There are kids in Guatemala who collect soda bottles out on the street and then fill them with other litter and use them to line the walls of brand new schools that they're building. They act as really great insulation. There's a boy in Vermont who started the whole Be Straw Free movement when he was just nine years old. And there's a little girl in Mexico who won a huge science award that's usually only given to adults for creating a rooftop solar water heater using plastic bottles. There are also kids along the coast of Kenya who collected 30,000 flip-flops that they found along the beaches and together with their grown-up helpers built a sailboat that they are using to sail up and down the coast of Africa calling attention to plastic pollution and organizing beach cleanups. So I'll read you this poem. It's called Join the Crew. We may think the problem's too big and we are too small. Just kids after all. What can we do? I can pick up a bottle, a flip-flop, a straw, and you can too. And you, and you, and you. Many hands, many faces, many lands, many races can scrap the old ways and piece together a craft, an ark, a lifeboat a patchwork of many colors to sail the seven seas to tell the world this is our home and it's worth changing course to protect it. There's rough water ahead, rip tides, dire straits, but we can come about, trim our sails and follow our North Star. Our lives depend on it. Come, step aboard, plot your course, take the helm, it's your watch. This voyage begins with you. Last of all, I thought I would give you the last straw challenge. I was trying to decide what that might be, and at first I thought maybe I would ask you guys to try to go a whole day without touching plastic, but I thought I should try it, and I'm here to tell you it's impossible. Um, so how about this? How about you make a list of all the things that you touch during the day that are plastic? Here's my list. Before 9 a.m. If it was all day long, it would be pages and pages long. If you really want to get rid of plastic, there are four things that we really could do without in our lives. Um, these are the use it once and throw it away plastic that you know we typically use for about 12 minutes. Plastic water bottles, plastic forks, plastic straws, and plastic bags. Now these four things are truly a problem because especially these things 
fall through the cracks in the machinery when they're trying to be recycled, gum up the works, and basically break the machines. Um, so if we could try to get rid of those things in our lives, it would help a lot. And it's pretty easy to do that. So instead of using a plastic water bottle, you can get a metal water bottle. Um, instead of a plastic fork, you can get these pretty bamboo knives and forks that you can carry around with you. Instead of a plastic bag, get a cloth bag that you can wash. If you need a straw, there are other metal straws, glass straws, bamboo straws, but these are four things that would make a huge difference if we all swore off of them. Let me know how you do, and thanks for everything you do to help our Earth. Bye!